Today we are checking off something big on the to-do list for the drift truck. We have the care package from Mishimoto. Inside here is our new radiator, our new fans, and our mounting kit for our fans. This is one of the last things we need to install before the truck is ready to be shipped off to have some other stuff done. So let's go ahead, unbox these two boxes, and see what is inside. This radiator and these fans are gonna keep the 1UZ nice and cool. Also, I just want you guys to notice something. Look at how clean the shop is. I spent the first half of today just cleaning up everything. My toolbox now has tools in it. They're not all over the shop. Everything's organized. Uh, it's still definitely not done, but um, it's getting there. It feels so much more open. I forgot how big the shop was just because it was cluttered with junk. So this right here is our radiator. Pretty much about the biggest radiator I could find from Mishimoto that would fit in the truck. The inlet and the outlet are in the same factory location as the uh, 1UZ radiator. This is slightly bigger than a 1UZ radiator, so it should keep it cool. Tight, but it'll definitely fit. And you can totally see this really awesome radiator through the grill. Kind of see it tucked away in there. And it right now it's just resting right here. It needs to go up a little bit. In order for it to go up a little bit, I just have to cut out this center support a little bit. And then we can just build some mounts, some little tabs on the bottom that connect it there, and then drill some holes up top to connect it. And then we should be good. So as you can tell, here is the radiator right there. It's not mounted yet, but this is the hole we cut. It is big enough to carefully unscrew the cap. I used a jack and a block of wood to get the radiator sitting exactly how I wanted. Sitting perfectly in there. It's awesome because it's like it's super tucked away. So you look in the engine bay, you don't see anything, which I mean, would probably rather see it because it's so pretty, but whatever. There is plenty of room for one of our fans to uh, Go on there, we could actually get a race fan if we wanted to. Cool, now we have to build mounts. The way that these mounts are gonna work, on the top, there are two bolt holes that we can screw into, and then on the bottom, there's just two little posts. So it's gonna be pretty much just resting in two little holes on the bottom, and then it'll be bolted in on the top. Pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm gonna weld an L bracket to the frame, the front of the frame. The bottom studs of the radiator will sit in a bushing that is on the L bracket. And then up here, all we're gonna do is a piece of flat stock that is bolted to this cross member and then bolted to the radiator through a rubber bushing. It's ideal to mount a radiator and an intercooler in rubber bushings. That way they can flex a little bit without cracking or breaking stuff. If this works out like the way I'm thinking of it, it's gonna be super easy and awesome. So let's do it.
This is the bottom mount for our radiator. We go ahead and get this bushing in here, which is probably pretty difficult. Just like so, and then the radiator just sits in that nice little rubber bushing, and it has some play, so that's awesome. Now we're gonna go ahead, put this on the radiator, and then weld it to the frame. because now what I do is I slide this backwards and then it pops out. <laughs> That's so cool. You can see the mounts down there with those bushings in there. Before I weld those up, I'm gonna make the top mounts. Now we have this little guy, which gets this bushing right here, which then the bolt goes through. Now the bolt is suspended, so the radiator can flex. And then this part gets bolted to the cross member. Sorry for the terrible lighting. As per usual, we're using rib nuts. Best creation on man, of man. I just love the way the radiator looks in that grill. You can see it so well. I think it looks so sick. You can actually see it better on camera. I think it looks worse on camera than it does in real life. Because on camera, it kind of looks funky being able to see the radiator right there. But I think it's awesome. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. The radiator is uh, is mounted. All I really have to do is clearance this hole a little bit more so it's easier to get the cap in and out. Mounts are pretty strong, but allow it to flex, which is great. Hopefully the stock coolant lines or coolant hoses for the 1UZ will work. I'm pretty sure they will. What I'm gonna go ahead and do now is pull out the radiator, paint these top tabs, finish rolling the bottom tabs, and paint the bottom tabs. It looks like my mounting kits for the electric fans didn't get delivered, so we have to wait to do that, but it doesn't really matter. We don't really need the radiator until, you know, two weeks when it's ready to start. The one reason why I wanted to get it mounted is just so I knew everything worked and all that stuff. But I am positive that these fans fit, and they fit actually with quite a lot of room left over. If you look, closest thing to the engine is the crank pulley. And there's a good inch in between the fan. No, probably two inches in between the fan and the crank pulley, so. That's awesome. This worked. I was really concerned about this fitting and it fits perfectly, so. Heck yeah, hopefully that will keep the engine cool. And now taking the radiator out, literally two little bolts, that's it. And then it comes out. <laughs> I'm gonna get as much done as I possibly can on the transmission stuff. Um, I'm gonna clean the gasket off the shifter area for the transmission, put the clutch on, clean the flywheel, replace one of the flywheel bolts, and start to bolt the um, adapter plate on. The reason why we have to clean this guy up, those bolted in, never mind. Gotta clean off all that, clean up this mating surface. So I'm just gonna take a razor blade to this, this gunk. Wire brush and razor blade later, it's ready to go back in. Mating surface is nice and clean, but uh, I kind of stripped some of the paint. We're not gonna put this back on until the transmission is in the truck though, because obviously it'll be more difficult to put it in when there's this big stick attached to it. This has had a couple of days to dry, so let's go ahead and put that back in. Oh, 
It's on the ground. It's pretty good height too. I definitely want to go a little bit lower, but I don't think I want to go lower until it can go lower evenly. Plus once there's a transmission in here, it might be half an inch lower, quarter of an inch. I really hope my suspension works because uh, if it doesn't, if it breaks, we have to redo that. That means we have to pull everything back out. Strut bar looks pretty good in there. I like it. So, heck yeah. All of the flywheel bolts that I'm using right now are all 15 mils. Besides this one, this one is a 14 mil. I didn't think anything of it when I was installing them, but you guys let me know that if I had a different bolt on the flywheel, uh, it would cause a weird vibration and possibly damage something. Also, a lot of you guys are like, oh, you can't use those bolts, you have to use grade eight bolts. These are, they're class 10.9 bolts, grade eight. Don't worry, they are the correct bolts for the flywheel. And yes, I did use thread locker, so don't worry. Oh look, the clutch bolts are right. <laughs> According to the company that made the kit and sent me the wrong bolts, um, a different company does the packaging for the bolts, so it wasn't their fault. Uh, it was whoever they used as their bolt packer, which I believe. Clutch is on, that looks nice. So that's gonna be it for today. Literally the only thing that has to be done to the truck before it gets shipped off to have the headers made is the transmission. We should have to put the transmission in, make a transmission mount, and it's done. Radiator is done, engine's in. Yeah, I think everything's done. Uh, there, there are some small things like coolant lines, vacuum lines that need to be tidied up, but I'm gonna do that at Mike's shop while we are wiring it up. Cause there's no point in spending days of time doing it now where I could do it while it's being wired up. So yeah guys, that's gonna be it for this video. We are leaving the radiator out until uh, the, the the mounting little plates dry because I don't want to put them on now because it'll just ruin the paint. Uh, but hopefully you guys got to see what it looks like. It does look really awesome. Kind of weird, but really awesome. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So peace out and goodbye.